Gonna be Joey! She's there! Ah! Yeah, we're here. I haven't had Filipino food in so long because Filipino food is usually very heavily meat-based and I'm vegan. Once I found out about World Veg, I was like, oh, vegan Filipino food. So I'm very excited to try it. I'm gonna make Jackie try it. He's never really had Filipino food because I can't cook. So this is gonna be really fun. Filipino Independence Day is tomorrow. And I thought to celebrate it with all my Filipino friends. Later, mm -hmm. we're gonna meet Carrie. She goes by, I call her Grumpy, because that's her Instagram. Yeah, let me know how the food is, guys. Okay? Oh my God, thank you so much. No, no, thank you. Congratulations, I'm one of the 160,000 followers. <laughs> we cannot wait to try it. I'm so glad car. that I found you guys. All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna eat all of this. Mm. Slow walk. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Did they get chopsticks? No, I have forks and spoons. Okay. Filipino. I just realized I used said chopsticks. Use your hands. We eat rice with spoons or yeah. hands. They gave us um, um, adobo, pancit, bistec, lumpia, and other lumpia. And more lumpia. We're excited to try it. For so Did your parents make all this stuff growing up? Yeah, so I used to make lumpia with my parents and we'd like cut vegetables like literally all fucking night. It, it almost good. becomes like assembly line. It's like this person's cutting it up and one person, oh, there's usually two people helping to roll up because it's a whole process. That's cool. You make it too tight, they bust open. If you do it too loose, all the, yeah, anyway. Okay, so there's a trick to it. <laughs> yes. That's cool. Maybe we'll do that in the future, but none of it. Can you cook? Are you good? <laughs> I know how to roll yeah. I'll like look at a, a recipe and I'll cook it and just like and then my mom will come in and then add her own stuff. She's like, needs more of this, that, this, that. I feel like Some we things. should start with the lumpia. So we have Lunganisa lumpia. We have the regular RTV, the Shanghai lumpia. We call it RTV because it's our name, roll the bed. Oh yeah. And then we also have uh, uh, cheese and jalapeno infused Ooh, lumpia. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, let's. Dig in. Okay. Lumpia. Joey's digging right in. How is it? It was there? good. <laughs> Do you know what's on yours? Mmm. Dude, that's really good. That's so good. Yeah, that's what's really yours good. look like inside? Oh, and Jackie and I are vegan, but these two are not vegan. I was like, you guys, nope. I'm glad you guys are here because mm -hmm. no one believes me when I'm like, it's good vegan food. They're like, you're vegan. vegan. Yeah, I've never really eaten vegan. Cause for same reason, because I'm just like, mm, yeah. it's just vegetables. But like, that's why when I knew that there might, there would be like meat op substitute options. So I was like, okay, I gotta try this. Especially for Filipino food, oh my goodness. Oh, yours is different. That's why I thought maybe it was a longanisa because it's a little bit, like a touch sweeter. It's not mm. sweet, but. Did we talk about the oh, truly? Gosh, we have to talk about the truly. Yeah, these are both exactly the same and they're two different colors. And we're kind of worried. Who should be worried? The pink person or the, the, <laughs> the pink person? Not right? pink. Or like the clear one. So far, really good. Oops. Um, so we have carpet cleaner. <laughs> Jackie was like, I don't know if Jada is allowed to eat in here anymore. <laughs> I love garlic. I normally don't, but it was really yeah. good. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's cheese and jalapeno. So I, just, like, I didn't get a big piece of jalapeno, so it's not super oh spicy. God, yeah. I actually really like this cheese. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. It's nuts. It is nice. It's got a nice smooth um, texture to it, the cheese. Vegan cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Just I just it. split these up with my hands. I know, I was looking for a piece that had like jalapeno, but I think they chop it up real small. Do you like spicy? I love spicy. I know. Yeah. My mom was not into spicy. Really? No. My family either. Like plain cheese pizzas, maybe pepperoni. Like pepperoni is pretty spicy to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like super plain. Like plain spaghetti, plain tacos, like no spice. Wow. Yeah. Mmm. So I haven't introduced everyone yet. Jack and Knight. Carrie. Hi. And Joy. Hi. My family's from Batangas. I don't know where my dad's <laughs> from. He like pretends that he's like just all American. <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> yeah. He went to high school here. He came here when he was like 17 and he was like a surfer dude. That's funny. My dad grew up on the beach. Um, he ended up like coming to America illegally and like jumping ship and everything. <laughs> so nuts. Nice. Now he's an American um, citizen, but he would tell my mom like, okay, yeah, like we don't cook Filipino food anymore and it would make my mom really sad. So this is actually my first time celebrating um, Filipino independence. Yeah. No way. How about you guys? It's my first time. Yeah. 
We're so Americanized. Same. It's my first time. I was like, oh, hey, I, I know. know there was a day for us. That's okay, cool. that's so that's cool. Really cool. Yeah. No, well then, uh, thank you. Cause same. Like I didn't even know that there was a day that was celebrated for it. Mm -hmm. So. Look at you bring oh, it <laughs> Joey and I were talking in the car and we were like, oh, we want to be more in touch with our mm -hmm. Filipino roots. So and I thought this would be fun to do. Yeah. I don't think we're ever going to get a chance to do like an Italian vegan thing. It was like... Tarantino's! Oh yeah, Tarantino's is an Italian vegan restaurant Ooh. here in town. Okay, we should try the adobo next. I think so. Chicken adobo. adobo. I came back to Delaware. My family was very concerned. They were like, oh, Jada doesn't mean anything because she's vegan. And I was like, Aww. I just don't make vegan food for <laughs> Well, you know, and it's, again, when you're outside of it, because like me, I'm like, oh, vegan, that's just vegetables. What do you yeah. eat, grass? Yeah. Like, you know? <laughs> Protein <laughs> shakes? What's in that, you know? <laughs> so, I'm telling you, when you told me that they had vegan Filipino, I was like, I gotta see yeah. it. Yeah, so far it's it's good. So, now we gotta try like the actual, like the chicken oh, and the yeah. stick and right. see what They're that's saying about. that's like the best. Alright, let's taste this soy chicken. Wow. That's really good. Is it? Mm-hmm. But jackfruit or? I think it's soy. Okay. That's Tofu. crazy. It even has like a, the same, almost like, the the texture, yeah, yeah. It's nuts. Yeah. It tastes exactly, exactly like, oh, wow. like it's nuts. So in normal Filipino world, lumpia is like my favorite, but I think I really like the adobo better. So good. Yeah, that's probably what I would order if we go back. And the potatoes are really good. Oh, that's what I was about to say. That potato has a lot of flavor. I know, it's flavor. like so... A like, lot of flavor. It's just like melts in your yeah. mouth. Yeah. <laughs> digging Filipino food so far. Mm, mm -hmm. Nice! <laughs> that first piece of chicken I had was from the Ponce. This is actually the adobo right here and it's, the flavor is so good. Oh, I love adobo. Oh, this so is bomb. crazy. If like somebody were to give me this at like a party and not tell me it was vegan, I would never even think twice about it. Legit, I would That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Crazy is so how far vegan food has <clears throat> evolved. Seriously. Six Before it was just like ago. tofu and whatever. <laughs> so good. <clears throat> I'm gonna have the. That sounds good. Fish stick, get. Oh my god. I still think I like the adobo more, but that's like meaty. Yeah, this is my wife. Yeah. She's so the magic the on time. all the yeah. cheeses. She's Thank you so much. She's the one that, like, um, figured out how to do the meat, convert it into Filipino version. That's so awesome. They yeah, pretty much started like a chem lab to make all the meats taste like me. I think they did a really good job. And I found out that they started during the pandemic, which is crazy. They oh, just really? started on Facebook. Mm -hmm. People in the vegan community just like started ordering food from them and then they grew to this. So. That's They're awesome. Like they need to keep going. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They said it's kind of hard to find calamansi here. Do you know what calamansi is? No. What's that? It's a type of citrus for sure, but it's it's native to so certain areas. It's like areas. lemon or lime. It's like it's sweet lime. lime. It's almost right? like a. It's like a lemon lime mandarin. That's the best way I can explain. It. It's like a really because uh, it even has like, like that orange. What's yeah. it called again? Calamansi. That's such a cool yeah. word. When I was growing up, my mom had a calamansi tree. And um, we, we would make our own like calamansi drinks. Oh yeah, like a calamansi lemonade or something? Yeah, um, and um, I remember like when I was really young and I was making that, I like squeezed calamansi <laughs> in my eye. My mom had like all these kinds of plants and she had like the Thai chili um, plant and I like rubbed my eyes and oh, I was no. like, I'm gonna die! <laughs> <laughs> I really want a calamansi tree now. <laughs> Did you like the beef stick? Dude, this is really good. really good. It's so dense. Let me too. taste that one. Did you guys have like super Filipino parties? I did for a little bit. What were they like? Just lots of food. It would be <laughs> literally tables and tables yeah. of food. It's just like buffet status. Yeah. Everybody, like whoever was hosting obviously made a lot of food, but then people just always bring, bring food. extra yes. trays of food. Always. Oh, you know what I miss? Did you guys ever have like puto? Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, all the desserts and stuff? Oh yeah. That's actually one thing my mom knows how to make is like Filipino desserts and mm -hmm. she's Mexican. 
Filipino barbecues were like. All the uh, old people were downstairs playing mahjong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then upstairs, was, like there was like a small group of kids and we would like play hide and go seek. And I felt like every time we would watch like that Brave Little Toaster movie. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> For me it was like karaoke downstairs. Always oh, oh, with the karaoke. I always. still do karaoke today. I love it. You like the fun fit? Dude, that's so good. What is it like a, almost like a shrimpy or crabby taste? We're talking about it. They use mushrooms to give it that like seafood. It's got like a little bit of a taste. seafood vibe. I'm always surprised when they they make something that like really like that's really similar. It's like triggers something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you try stuff like this, you're like, oh my gosh, like, this, dude, is, this is so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel yeah, like I want to buy good. stuff, buy some stuff from them, and like take it to my house and see if like my brother, or my mom will notice. That'd be cool. Just like not say anything. Mm -hmm. We did that to our neighbors. It's so good. In Colorado, we just like made tacos and invited them over. He was like putting it in the light. We were like, all like, <laughs> like, no way. He like picked up the last one. He's like holding it up. Like what? Like, like what really like serving. <laughs> What's your favorite Filipino food? I'm not like, here, but potato? usually, yeah. Eat it. I would say Bicol Express. What? Legal Express. It has pork, um, coconut milk, uh, Thai chilies, and some other type of chilies, ginger. Okay. It's really spicy and savory, almost like a curry. And oh. sweet. It's really good. I don't like What's your least food? favorite Filipino food? The one with the bitter melon in it. Can I answer this next? What? Chicken feet. Oh, that's Chinese. Your, your brother like. made me eat chicken feet. <laughs> He's like, but got, wait. Before we got together, he was just like testing me. This is what we eat. Have some. Eat some more. Like kept like putting them on my plate. Oh my gosh! And, then, and you did it. Having like eight, ten <laughs> chicken feet. You know, Why did you do it, Jackie? Just to like, eat into the bone. <laughs> And then like, oh they're like, okay, hey, we're gonna leave. And it's like, okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. And then I sit there waiting on me in the lobby for like 20 minutes. That was your bathroom. initiation right there. <laughs> so embarrassed, I come out, they all know. Just there. You're just like, oh. <laughs> She's like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine, I just wanna go home. <laughs> I never liked the, I forget what it's called, but it was like liver and it was all black. Oh, I think that one. Yeah. The the one. one. I, that's it? my least favorite. I won't ever touch that. I'm like, what is it? I don't like it's it. Like, it's I like pork it. blood. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what is it? It's pork blood. It's pork blood. Yeah, so it comes out, once you cook it, it comes out kind of brown, black looking. But it's, it's very vinegary and it's, it's just blood and pork and chilies. And it's, it's really good with puto. I like dip the puto in the Oh, I want to make puto like so, so bad. Good. That's interesting. It's going to be yeah. a complete fail if I make puto. <laughs> there's, no, there's a science to it because it's the way that it obviously is. You just like recipe, steam it, right? But it, I think if you do it too long, it's too spongy. Can so. we try this like in the future? I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> we could definitely try. Because <laughs> it's just rice flour and, and water. Like, water. Yeah. It's like a can of But they're so good up. though. They're good. So good. We have to this. make like halo halo. Yeah, sounds good. Mm, I love hollow hollow. Hollow. Mm -hmm. so good. It's ice cream? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, well, I mean, like, what, it's, like, it's like it's like it's shaved okay. ice. Yes. Oh They've my got, God, it's shaved ice. Jackfruit. I mean, I feel like Italians have got shaved ice down. I mean, so. <laughs> nothing like Italian ice, though. No. <laughs> There's a bunch of good stuff in it. There's ice cream too. Usually they do ube or they'll do mango I love ube. ice cream. Yeah, yeah. So there's different ones, the and then they put condensed milk. Oh my gosh. And sweet beans on the bottom. Yeah, the sweet beans. The oh yeah, ones. they did that in Thailand. The beans mm -hmm. in dessert. It's such a weird mm -hmm. thing. But yeah, it's like, it's no, it's good. Super good. Hot hollow is definitely. It was probably my favorite um, Filipino. When it's hot like yeah. this, I can eat a hollow hollow in like Oh yeah. Minutes. Yeah. It's so good. Is mango sticky rice like a Filipino thing? It's more Thai, but okay. we did it too. Okay. You're we just like eat back. mangoes. Yeah, I for sure mangoes. Too. Did your parents make you um like shredded cantaloupe with like sugar? <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh, I had that on the first market the other day. Melon water? Yeah. I forgot what Is it, it was blended? called. No, it's just shredded, and then you put some sugar in it, and some water, and ice, and just mix it, and then you drink it. It's like amazing. Oh, it's a drink. Yeah, it gets oh, some high. Oh no, yeah. I've I've never had that before. It's so good. This sounds good. But thank you, Roll the Veg, for giving us all this good food. We're gonna eat so what every you, last bit of it. What do you think was your favorite of all of them? What was your favorite item? What about from the lumpia? What was your favorite of the lumpia? Because it was like three of them. 
I kind of like their new like um, jalapeno thing that they. That was different. I really like so that different. cheese. So different, yeah. That cheese was really creamy. Definitely like Filipino fusion, which is cool. Out of the plates, I feel like the adobo. Mm. I really like the adobo. The chicken adobo was really good. Did like, you? I can't choose one, but I like the pancit and the lumpia just because that's like a Filipino party staple. Yeah, like, there's party, always have yeah. those two all the time. There'll always be like trays of just lumpia and then just like a big old thing, usually like a wok or a big thing of, of pancit for sure. Yeah. And then a like pig, trays yeah. of lumpia? Yeah. I mean trays because like, like hundreds? Because people, oh yeah. Yeah, do you not like uh, huge like you have trays? <laughs> yeah. the hot. You, Lumpia, you can't just make a few. Lumpia. You gotta make a ton. <laughs> you got to, because they take so long yeah. and, and they're gonna be gone at the end of the party. Or they'll take the Ziploc bags home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they'll freeze them. Like, they'll they last. They so last cool. all yeah. year. Really I feel cool. like I could make a Make a whole bunch? Yeah, like authentic okay. as fuck. With yeah. my Filipino friends. <laughs> you need like a team, like you were saying. Like yeah, the assembly line. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely as a non-vegan, I mean, this food totally passes. So I don't know. Two That's right. So you're non-vegan approved. Yes, non-vegan <laughs> approved. I'm blown away by the texture. Yeah. It's... Like the density of it. Yeah. Dude, thanks for putting this all together. It was really cool. Yeah, that was yeah. fun. Yeah. Thanks for inviting me. I thought it was going to be a show show, but... Uh, no! Oh, no! Go <laughs> 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 I totally wasn't part of the show. Alright, bye guys. Happy uh, Philippine Independence Day. Thanks for watching. See ya!